there's a level where all your dreams are realized. There's a level that you've always dreamed about. It is real. It has not gone away. But it takes that extra burst when you think there's nothing left. There's no way. You've tried everything 10 million times and you keep going. It's almost like God is saying, if you keep hitting this wall enough times, I will see that you will not stop, that you are filled with that level of determination, faith, and courage, and then the door opens and you get to that next level. But what most people don't know is the next level is just two millimeters above. And it's called outstanding, ladies and gentlemen, outstanding. I don't quit, I'm resilient. I own the number one skill, the number one talent required to eventually win. I already have, I can't quit. You'd have to kill me to get me out of chasing my dream, right? So number one, I wanna point it out as the number one gift. The best ability is availability. Do you have it? Have you decided to have it? Is it something you're gonna possess the rest of your life? And those of you that do have it already, I need you to take an inventory, be aware of it, and be intentional with crediting yourself as you're listening to this or watching it today into the bank of your self-confidence, into the bank, into the deposits you make in your identity because it has everything to do with winning. Every guest you've seen on my show, all the people that I've coached, all have different talents, skills, and abilities. What's the one they all have? The ability to stay present, the ability to stay in the fight, to have not quit. You think, well, that's not a big deal. Really? Because as I've been talking, millions of people made the decision to quit on their dream, just as I've been talking to you. The rest of the day, millions more will. Tomorrow, millions more. Every day, literally millions of people quit on one of their dreams, their dream relationship, their dream business, their dream body. So quitting has become the number one habit in the world by people that end up losing. And I'm telling you, it happens every day, every second, everywhere. Just the fact that while I've been speaking, you're still after your dream, you're ahead of them. You don't give yourself enough credit because eventually what I found, it looks like winning's this huge competition. But every day, every week, every year, every decade as time goes by, you're gonna find that you're competing with a smaller and smaller and smaller group of people for your dream because so many of them will just quit. And by the way, many of them that quit will possess talents, maybe even gifts you don't have. Their incredible ability with people, their incredible strength, their incredible brain, and they'll quit with all this giftedness, but you got the talent. You have to learn to distinguish between something that is a talent and a gift. You can develop skills, you can develop talents. Gifts are something you're born with, but the people that I see that win long-term are the ones who develop the talents and skills required to win. You know what I had? I had the ability to keep hitting the pinata in my life, to stick around long enough. And by the way, when you eventually win, it's not just you that gets all the candy, that gets all the victory, that gets all the money. Lots of people around you, many of which who you were hurting originally with that bat, many of them who were trying to talk you out of it, they get to celebrate in the candy too. My prayer for you is that you begin to think about this analogy. The pinata of your life, the pinata of your business, the pinata of your body. As you're swinging away, <clears throat> I'm here to tell you, even though it doesn't feel like it, you're getting closer to the candy. And if you can add more people to celebrate, it's okay that you feel disoriented. It's okay that it feels blinding and you don't know exactly what direction to go. Just like these precious babies with the pinata. It's okay that you miss it once in a while. It's okay that you get tired once in a while. But as long as you keep after it and you keep pounding away that compound effort of your pounding, I can promise you there's candy someday. And everybody around you will jump on it and celebrate. That's my wish for you. Today, as you listen to me, of all the skills I'm gonna teach you, that I've taught you, and if you've not listened to my other shows, I teach you about listening, transfer energy, how to close, how to change your identity, how to live blissfully dissatisfied, how to unlock your success code, all of the very detailed things I teach today is the most important thing is that as you learn all these skills it'll help you with the blindness every single skill you learn you'll see clearer and clearer and clearer but if you don't develop the talent the number one skill in the world which is to keep hitting the pinata and to stick around until the candy comes out because here's the deal someone's gonna get the candy in life. there's always candy in life. that pinata eventually always breaks down do you want to be the person who was there in the beginning hitting as hard as you could and sacrifice it and maybe hurting the people around you and never get the candy? Or are you going to get something for your pain? 
Are you going to get something for your effort? Are you going to get something for this sacrifice you're making? You've got to get something for this pain. You've got to stick in the game until the candy comes out, and then we all get to celebrate.